Today we're going to take a look at the Hilchas Vidas of Imer, Siv Simin Tov Pei Tes, Simin Tov Pei Tes, Siv Dalid. Lamaisa, to recap what we spoke last week, there is Machlekes whether Mitzvah Vidas of Imer today's days, Bezman Hazer when there's no Beis Hamikdash, there's no Carbon of Imer, is Midrais and Midrabanan. According to the Rambam Shita, it is still Min Hatayra today as well. It's only from the time of the carbon oimer was brought, but not that you actually have to have the carbon oimer. The Maisa, the majority of the Rishonim do not hold like the Rambam, and they hold that it's Midr that's the Iker Halacha, al Rebbe explains. How does Fadim Paskin? Same thing. However, what page? Machura. Page is Tav Chav Zayin. Yeah, right there. They are also Sfai to show you that it didn't hold like the Rambam. Uh-huh. So, Mukhur. So, Lamaisa, even so, that's only with the Rabbanan, but Kol Masha Tiknu Chachamim, Kein De Mena Toyra, Shal Toyra Tiknu, it's the same thing, except for this Suffolk and certain situations, but at the outset, we do Sfiris Oymer the same way that it was done then. Now, we, another thing we spoke about is there's a machlekes, whether or not Svida Soimer needs to be said with one's one own, own, mouth, own mouth or Shemeya Ka'ina. Everyone is masking that says, Osfart Lachem, Shetei Svida Lachol Echod Ve Echod, that everyone needs to count not only the best. So it's a personal Svida Soimer. The Shaila is, can it be Yoitza like in other areas of Torah, like Kiddush? All the mitzvah shibagufa where I hear shemei koin, I hear it being said am yoytza, or do I have to physically say it? And the ikar halacha is lachatchila. We are concerned for the shita that says you have to actually physically say it. But the evidence, if you hear, we rely on the other shita that if you hear from someone svidus oimer yoytza, and therefore someone should be careful not to hear someone saying svidus oimer if he himself wants to say svida. We'll talk about that later. How do you put if he had to go on with the bracha? He's, he heard it that night, he didn't count it. He didn't count it the next day either. Does he say it with the bracha the next day? That's a good question. That's a lemaisa. That could be a I don't think you. I think you would. I think you would be able to. Because it's a, called the sex veka, since the suffix may maybe a yoitza. Mm-hmm. Because um, a sheet of the whole Shemei Kaniyot. The suffix, whether he ate it every day, is a yeah, suffix. Yeah, L'chore. But it's a good, uh, just the first time I heard this k- kasha. Lamaisa, women, and Nasham Avadim are potter because it's a Mitzvah Seishat Man Grama. It's connected with time. Some countries, women did put themselves on a choiva to say Svira Soimer. And they're allowed to make a bracha even though not mechoiv. And then it could be Svardim or not knowing that way. Because uh, the Rambam and the Mechaber held differently. They held that, no, you cannot say it with Shaki Chana's face of a Tzivano because they weren't commanded to do the mitzvah. So well, they're doing it. They're Mekhidu. Right? Mekhidu, but they can't say with that we were commanded. That's, but, however, all the Rishonim, Toysis, and other Rishonim held differently, and therefore the Ramon, Shachonara Paskins like them. That's more of an issue of Sfarad and Ashkenazim. When they, when they sit, n- n- when they sit uh, in the Sukkah, that's because, uh, and, and it's not that they Same say thing. a shirt, they say they don't say the bracha. We hold, the Ramel held that you could say a bracha, so all Minik Ashkenaz that everyone makes a bracha. I don't know what Minik Sfar is, I know that the Mechaber and Shachan Aruch says that women don't, based on the Rambam, women should not make a bracha. Ah, so it's but in all areas in the Torah, at, since there are any mitzvah v'aisa, any time someone does a mitzvah, he's not commanded to the mitzvah, he's machnetz asmei to the chiyuv, He's not mechuyiv. So not only the Gabi Levi. The Gabi says they are mechuyiv. No. But they aren't mechuyiv. So why do you say a baruch? Good kasha. So we say a shekichon and tzvayis tzvayis means that Klai Yisrael was commanded. But not that, 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 that Klai Yisrael, not that we personally are commanded. We as a Klai Yisrael were commanded in the Sphere of Emir. So they could. But in the Chanami, we as women, the Pratis, were attacked and not commanded. So why by Sphere can't you say the same thing? It's not about sphere and that. It's about all. It's all the myths of the same thing. Any myths say shas man grama. Can oh, because the kla. I understand. So kla is the sukkah itself. The, the, the mitzvah itself right. was specifically given to kla yisro. Right. 
Ah, so Ritzivano is not referring to they, them, these women who are saying it. Uh-huh. Ritzivano refers to Kal Yisrael. It's Ritzivano, like you're saying, Kal Yisrael, it doesn't disexclude the woman. Ritzivano is anybody. So the woman is part of it. Why not? Why is part of it? She could say a part of the Klal, but not that she's referring to herself as a prat. Mm-hmm. So this is a Machleikas Svarad Meshkan Machaber Ramah, and it boils down to Halacha Lamais and all mitzvahs. All mitzvahs that you can make a bracha from that mechuyev. Now another thing we mentioned, by the way, is that Svira Soimer is supposed to do by night. Mm. The reason is because it says Mehochel Chemesh by Kama Tochel Lisper when the sickle hits the mm-hmm. um, stalk. That's when you should start counting. This man of the Ktsira Soimer when he's the Kato Oimer. Now the Ktsira Soimer was by night, right. by night, the evening before. Um, however, but if you didn't. So it's machloik. Some she to say ksira sa oimer was only could be done at night. If you've missed a night, you can't cut the oimer anymore. The carbon was brought by day, but the cutting of it was done by night. Is that ma'akev by night or not? So the sheet of the whole sa oimer is ma'akev by night. By day you can't say sfirah sa oimer. Sheet that says it's only lachatchila by night. But the yevad you could do it by day. If you forgot to do it by night or for some reason they weren't as the oinus, bezin wasn't able to cut the oimer by night. So then you could cut it by day, so therefore you could do Svira Soimer by day. So so it's not clear. It's not clear. But we, we it's a suffix, so we allow you to count by day but without a bracha. Because suffix bracha is lahako. No, but then you have the problem continuing on. Continuing on, we rely on what we're going to see later on, a spek sveka. Because suffix, that maybe you actually were yoitza, because there's a shita which holds. The halach is like the shita that Svira Soimer is by day, so Svira Soimer can be done by day. Suffix, that every day of Svira Soimer is a separate mitzvah. And even if you miss the full day, for, for yeah. sure, mm-hmm. continue. So rely on the Svek Sveka to continue counting. But at that day itself, forget about the next day. That day itself, you're supposed to count without a bracha. You can't count with a bracha because Safek Bracha Zahakko is a sheet which holds you not allowed to. You're not being Yoyitza Mitzvah. So you're doing something which is doubtful. Mm-hmm. Lagabe continuing, I can continue with a bracha because then I already have another suffix to add to the situation. Right. So it comes to the next night, and I'm a new it's night, a new, and the sheet which holds that every night of Svira is totally independent from the second. You make a bracha on each one independently, each one's independent. If, even if you forgot all the nights before, you can continue making with a bracha. So you have that shita, and you have the sheet of the hell that you're counting by day was valid. So putting both together allows you to continue counting with a bracha. But for that day itself, you only have one suffix. Is, what, is my sphere today a good sphere or not a good sphere? Now you have only one suffix, you can't make a bracha. When they did korban and beta migdas, they did bracha. And the korban? The eating of the korban they did. No, no. Make, uh, and the bracha, making the kidding. bracha on the shechting, no. But they made a bracha on eating the korban pesach and eating the end the last mission the sachem gives you the brachas you should make for korban. When they did the korban omer, they did bracha no, noontime. I don't, I don't, I don't, and they cut it in the evening, but they did bracha in the afternoon. I don't think so. That's my question. If they, they did, cut it, I don't think it was any bracha. Uh-huh. No, the ikar was the bringing, not the cutting. That was a hechsha mitzvah. Another thing, by the way, is. Um, so we count by night. Um, it, it, also, there's a mitzvah and a mocha that count the first, the beginning of the night. The reason is because Timimu is Tihiyana. The Torah says it should be complete 49 days. So you need to count by the beginning of the night. Okay. Siv Dalad. Asvida Tzarech Levarech Mu'umid. The last line of the page. Svida we should count, bench. We should count standing. Shemar back comma. Says the word back comma. Medosh Shechem Chama Chama Expand on Tikra back comma. Ala back comma. Tachol. This we should count. Back comma. Kim Stalon. Mana Yat Meyushiv. One counted while sitting. Yatza Yoytzev. Shedrash Azu. Ein Ela Smach Tabalma. It's not that that's Pshat in the Pasuk. It's Chachamim. Found a rem as a hint in the pasuk, but Chachamim were the ones that told us we should stand. And if we have it, you sat, it's still good. 
Sifei, Minah Torah that says, Lemus Hayom Vegam Hashwiz. Minah Torah is supposed to count days and weeks. Shenemar Tispru Chamishim Yoim. Kiloimar Ad Chamishim. Voim is another Pasek Shiva Shavuiz Tispru Lach. Should count weeks. Ketzad Yisprishnim. How should one count both? When it comes to the ending of the week, now you completed seven days a full week, you say, You say days and weeks. During the week, you can't count weeks. Well, up until now, we're holding. You can't count weeks because it's not a weekend. We count at the ending of a week. When I have a day, I count the day. When I have a week, so you wait to the ending of the week. Because you missed out the part of the mitzvah of counting Shavuot's weeks. Now we're going to talk about what do you do with the days in the middle. Do we count just days or also weeks? Till now we're saying Minat Torah, you count days, and then at the weekends you count weeks. What do you do about about the weeks in the middle? Weeks in the middle. What do we do? We say both, right? Right. Let's see. Well, but the, There's a I, few sheets. We have three sheets here. The, according to the way we say it, we do it, it's the Rabbanu Dekha, that's how we passed in our day. If someone didn't left out the weeks, what would, how, what would we do? You're going to see. This stuff is going to talk about it. Okay. Good try, though. Mamash going to address this issue. I will be Yom Shemim called Shavu of a Shavu. Me Yom Chesed Yom Gimel. What should be done in the days between the weekends, from eight until thirteen, Vaad Bchal including thirteen, Um Me Yom Tezvav Ad Yom Etz from fifteenth to twentieth. Me Chena Yom Shemim Shars as well the days between the rest of the weeks. There's a Machlokes what to do. Three mach, three are Machlokes. Yeah, Shoyim Rim Some say Shein Sarich. You don't need to count the weeks. Like we said before in the previous time. You don't have to say there's one week and one day. That's not week. Weeks means count the weeks at the ending. Some say no. The opposite. I mean, you should always be counting weeks. When the Torah said to count weeks, it meant, and days, it meant don't only count the weekends, Hayyim Shuach, and wait. Counting only Shavuos, I mean, wait to the weekend. And this year it means every month, Friday. every Friday night. So count, um, every Friday night, count, oh, Hayyim Shuach, Hayyim Shavuos. And in the middle of the week, don't say anything. No, Yamim teaches you during the week you should count. But how do you count? By using weeks, not say Hayyim Shemayni Yamim. For eight days, you say Hayyim Shavua Echad V'Yoyim Echad. That's how the sheet holds. The third sheet holds. Miyei Shemim. Shatzarach Leimer Behem Schum Hayyamim V'Ashvu. You have to say the amount of days and weeks. Kegoyim, for example, B'Yoyim Ches Yemayim Shemayni Yamim Shehim Shavua Echad Yoyim Echad. V'Chein Meshar Kol Yam Shatzarach Leimer Schum Kol Hayyam V'Ashvu. I mean, Hayam Oitam Ashwois Ashwois on the extra days after the weeks. Vichain, Mispashat, Aminik, Bukhotis Yisrael. In all of Klal Yisrael, the Minik is this way, like the third opinion, to be Machmer and to do both. We count days every day and we count weeks every day. The Ain, the Shanis, one should not change the Minik. However, why has you made a mistake and you, did, you didn't do this? You have other days to rely upon, right? Komokin, still a little into. If one counted like any of the first two opinions, remember the first opinion holds that you don't mention Shuis at all during the week, only at the ending of the week. The other opinion held that the opposite, you only mention weeks, even during the week, you only mention weeks. You don't say Yem Shemayin Yamim, you only mention Yem Shavuachav Yem Echad. Yem Shavuachav Yem Echad. Wait, is that the same? It's similar, but the, but the Torah says Tishbu Chamishim Yoim and Shavuot. 
Well, how do we get to Mekayim this? Automatically, in the 50 days, we have Shavuot. So, the Torah doesn't, so then why does the Torah say an extra Pasuk, Shiva Shavuot is Pelach? You should count the Shavuot. Because the Torah wants us to make sure that we're counting. So the double Lasha. It has to be that one time is enough. Hashem tells you to do something, He doesn't need to tell you twice. One time is enough. He's not like a parent tells the father, He nudges the kid a few times to do it. He says it one time, Vakain <laughs> Yakum. <laughs> if He said it again, it's because. <laughs> something. Yeah. Okay. And especially when it's different wording, it's not the same thing again. It's not Kofel. Now, but the question is, what does it mean? Three opinions on what that means, what is extra Shavuot and Yamim. How do we explain that? We, there's three way machlekes. How do we interpret that? One shita says, a whole week you count days. You come to the weekend is when you mention Shavuot. Only on the weekends. The other she says, no. Everything you mention weeks. Just when we say counting days, it means you count the extra days after. You say you don't say Hayyam Shemani Yamim. Say Hayyam Shavuot Echad, Yom Echad Layim. And that's how you count the whole Sefirah. And that's what it means, Yamim. And, and Shavuot means at the ending you say, Yom Shavuot, Yom Shavuot. But the way we're doing it. And the third way is the way we're doing it, both. It's the, it's the, the counting is, it's the easiest way to remember. You say it's Shmona Yamim. So you know in the Shmona Yamim you have one week and one day. It's easier. So whichever way you did, if you did the earlier ways, since fear is only with the Rabbanon, so if you went like any of the, any of the opinions of yours, like or Machmer, like the third opinion, we say everything. But the Abad, you didn't. It's with the Rabbanon, and you can go follow the other opinions. The app, the Yom Hashem is for a bigger Chiddush. And now we have a sheet that we never heard before. A bigger chiddush, even at the ending of the weeks, because we're going to be Yom Zayin in Medala, the seventh and the fourteenth, Chayyotzim and the similar. Im Tov leMalal Yamad. If you only count the days, not weeks, you said Hayyom Shiva Yamim. You did not say Hayyom Shiva Echad. You did not mention week. Lehiske Ashu is Klal. Yesh Oymim Shein Tzarech Last Ver Belisper Bezman Azeh Shasvide Eina El Azeicher Bekima Shesaf Hayyom Yatsa. I knew a fourth shita. The fourth sheet says that today's days, the whole Svira Sayyim is only with the Rabbanan. And he disagrees with what we learned earlier that Kol Mashatiknu Chacham Kein Shal Tikun, that we do it the same way. Since it's only a Zecher, you don't do it the same way. It's only a Zecher. Do it different. Show that it's only a Zecher. Only count the Yamim, don't count the Shavuot. Eina Chanami, when it was Minat Torah, you would have to do the Shavuot. But since now it's only a Zecher, it's only with the Rabbanan Zecher and Mikdash. You don't do the full thing. Days is enough. So even if you didn't mention Shvot Bichlal at the ending of the week, which has the Iker, you ate it. Avil, one more thing that's finished the Sif. Avil, Im Safar Shvot Bavad. What happens if the whole week you forget, didn't count? Every day you didn't count. On the ending of the week you counted. You only counted on weekends. Another another scenario. You only counted weekends. During the days of the week, you didn't say anything. Tzarech last belisper. Everyone agrees you have to go count again. Sheikir asvid mina yamim. The ikir asvid as is the days. Shebimi and ayamim bavad yichoyin lisper kol amitim. There's only one way to count all of them is with all the days is counting by days. Week weekends you can only count on weekends. If you only mention weekends without the extra days, you just mention the ending of the weeks. Every Friday night you say, in this year's Kviyut, you say, So then you can't count the days, because you cannot count the whole week. Now, some say that the second opinion that we just said, the, the opinion that we said that if you count days throughout, out the Shavuot, you miss it, you yoytze. Sheim and Sha'af and Manayim of that doesn't work. So, Lazarus, Pesha, Komash, Tikkun, Ram, Tikkun, Yen, Shotar, Tikkun. We have a machlaikis whether we ain't a chanami, it's midrabanan. We have a machlaikis in midrabanan. How did Chazal want you to do it? According to one opinion, says you have to do exactly Kein, Shotar, Tikkun. The other opinion says no, it's only a zeicher. You don't have to do it exactly. Yam alone is enough. 
We should be concerned for the final thing to do it again without a bracha. So the Maisa, let's, let's make a sikum, because it's a complicated sif. There are five different scenarios. There are five scenarios. The best option, the best option is what we do. We count both days and weeks every day. Every day we do days and weeks. That's one sheet. Another sheet is that every day you do days. On the weekends you count Shavuot. Only the weekends you, say, you mention the word Shavuot. During the week you say days. The other sheet says the opposite. Every the entire Svita Saima you only mention weeks. Hayoim except the first week. The first week you mention days, you don't have a week yet. But after you reach the week, from then on, it's always Hayim Shua Echad Vyam Echad. Hayim Shua Echad Vishnayam. Hayim Bay Shivuat Vyam Echad. You're always mentioning Shuat the whole time. It's the third opinion. If you did like any of these two opinions, a a fourth opinion. If someone counted only days throughout the entire Svita Saiva, Machlaikis. One Shita says it's only a Zeichel the Mikdash. Even though you didn't mention Shavuot at all, and you would not have been Yaitza if you would have been Minatayra, because Shiva, Shavuot, Hispalach, you were not Yaitza. But since it's only a Zeichel, and I, every day of Svita I counted, I did something as to remembrance of the Zeichel, Yaitza. All the Shita says, no, you're not Yoitza because Kein Shal Torah Teknu has to be like the Minat Torah, even though it's Midrash Banan. You have to do days and weeks. And there's another scenario, <laughs> fifth scenario, which everyone's masking me, not Yoitza, is when you only count the ending of the weeks. Hayyim Shavuach, or the whole week you're quiet, you don't say a word. Till next week, Hayyim Bey Shavuach, Hayyim Gimel Shavuach, the whole entire middle week you don't say anything. Kula maskimim, kula amalei pligi that you're not Yoitza. Had a question. Am I clear already? Because the last sheet that when you first learn it, you say two, two. The one who says it's Lazeta, right? Is he saying because it's Lazeta, is his Pesach, it doesn't matter which three, they're all masking him since it's Lazeta, and those are the Lachachila things? Or is he saying, or is he arguing, is he polygon all three? Is he saying that because it's like that, you should follow those, those three sheets, but if you don't completely go according to them, because it's lezecher, you're still yaitze. Or is he? What? He holds lechatchila. The chachamim were never masakin. Or is he? Right. The Gemara Menachas. The Gemara Menachas. I think that's some above. The Gemara there says that you're. you're yeah. It's a opinion of a meimer. A meimer held that. Right. Manu yoimi. No, but is he saying that the other three opinions are also, when they pask in that way, it's also the Zeher? Is that what he's saying? Everyone's masking is the The question is just if that makes a change in the Allah. Ha. They are all, so you're saying they're all the Zeher. Everyone's are, saying it's Madara Except for the Rambam. Right, which is not brought up here before. Which is not brought up. Ah, they're all the Zeher. The question is how the Rabbanan, how the Rabbanan made this the that's what the what's what it is. How did the Rabbanan? Well, well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. The other the first three shittis are arguing even in the deraisa. How you yoitz the, 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 the oh, deraisa? Right. So. I see. Yeah, the, it's only this shita which is negaya for. He makes a kula, based on the fact that it's the Rabbanan. He says you can make them. But the first three uh-huh. opinions, Which say it's even in Minat Torah, yeah. The, argue, the way they interpret the Pasuk, Midah Raisa, yeah. that Shita is, is how they learn. Yeah. learn the, ah, okay. yeah. Yeah. How come we don't have you a bit here in Bet Shammai? <laughs> <laughs> Measure of thing is usually a bit here in Bet Shammai. Only here, we don't have Yeah, yeah, it's not in Mishnai, it's all in Gemara, the whole discussion. No, no discussion in Mishnai is about it. It's the Amairoyim. Uh, Ashi and Amayma. <coughs> no, well, it's more, you know, the Gemara itself says that, that Ashi held 
Manu Yoimi, Manu Leili. You should do night uh, shavui, day, days and weeks. Mm-hmm. Now, Mamer said only do you only have to do days. The question is when Rav Ashi said that you only do you do days and weeks. What did it mean? Machleik is Rishonim. What did the Gemara mean? But yeah, that's cool. Okay, Siv Zayin. Now, Mai said we don't really have these issues. We count like the way it says in the Siddur, and these mistakes are really not common. And not shechiyah that someone should make such a mistake. So it's not really such a shayla. The whole, the whole, the whole sif. Yagdul toyde v'yadul sif zayin. Im sof arav oisis alav beis. Shama yomim alif yomim beis egim yomim. You didn't say the day. You said it in alav beis. You said it in abbreviations. You didn't say shnei yomim loyimer. You said hayomim beis loyimer. He didn't say Hayyim Shloishi Yom Leim, he said Hayyim Gimel. Gimel is not the number, Gimel is just a number which is a symbol, it's a simon on the word. Yesh Oymrim Shiyatsa Yidei Chevase. Yesh Oymrim Shiloyatsa. It's not counting. Yesh Lachosh Ledevreim Lachsa Vizbe Bracha. One should be concerned and to do it again without a Bracha. Avim Loy Omer Hayyim, but if you not say the word Hayyim, Today, Alamana Stam. You just count it. Kach the Kach Yamalim, Lo Yotzi de Chavasi, when I Yotza. So, last, we listen to the Bracha. Kim Shama Kafka Yamale Safar, as Etame Yamaza, you do not count the actual day. Shoyim Boy, Vatoy Ramar, Tispur Hamishim, Shetispur Hayyim, Asme Shim Hayyim Kach the Kach. Rabbi says it's very common. People ask you, what's tonight's Sira? And you make a mistake, you tell them. You're supposed to say what yesterday's fear, right? You say what tonight's fear is. So, Lamaise, if you didn't say Hayoim, tonight, tonight is, today is, you're not no Bechal Shaila. Because you only just mentioned a number. Say, what? Five. Fifth. But you didn't say Hayoim, today, tonight, today, is, there's no Shaila Bechal. <coughs> The Shaila comes when they get a lag boimer. Lag boimer, the night of lag boimer, a lot of people, they're saying, Hayoim, they say, oh, tonight's lag boimer. Maybe by saying the actual words lag boimer, they already did Svirat Omer. Could they say it again with a bracha? Maybe they have to hear from the chazan. Because they said lag boimer, they said it's the 33rd day of Omer. Mm-hmm. Lamaisa, this is even a, a further Shaila from what the Gemara is, the is discussing. Shachamara is discussing, you would say, Hayoim Lamed Gimel Laimer. He didn't even say Lamed Gimel. You, 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 you read the abbreviation. You, 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 you didn't. You, you read Lag. You read it at like. You, you didn't say the actual abbreviation itself. You didn't say the letters Lamed Gimel. Sayin is talking about you actually count it with the Aleph base. You would say, like, Hayoim Lamed Gimel. But here we're talking about a case you say, Hayoim Lag Boimer. You tell someone, today's the day that you allowed to take a haircut. Today's the day you don't allow to take a haircut, so you didn't do anything wrong. That you're allowed. Yeah, so it means There's no shy law. Right? But as long as you never said it, you know, not a problem. <coughs> but Lamaisa were makele, even when you say lag boy, you tonight's lag boy. Maybe someone should be careful till he says the Svita Savimer, but but uh, it's, it's not like the Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is already accounting. It's not. It's like saying Chai, you know. Yeah. Avolim Omer Hayoyim Kach BeKach Volem Alo Oimer. What happens if someone said tonight is? The fifth night, but he didn't say La Oimer. Is he? Is he allowed to say it with a bracha? Yatsa is Yatsa. Shmeika hadin in tzarech lemekal La Oimer. Really, Meika hadin. You don't have to say the words La Oimer. Al shenogu kach levar yafa esvila is dover is dover soifrim. Just to make clear, explain what we're counting from the day the carbon of was brought. Ve'ein zeh ma'akev klal b'diavid. Some say lag, some say with a base or lo'imer, lamed. 
ואין לו שעה בשום נוסח, כי שתיהם נכונים. One should not change any נוסח, for both of them are correct. ויש נוהגים וטעם ידוע להם, לא אמר לא אמר אחר מן הים, קודם מן השבועס. כן, יהיה משמעי לים ולא אמר שאין שבועי אחר וגם אחד. Some have a minig, על פי קבלה, to put the word לא אמר in middle. After you say the days, you say לא אמר, and then you finish off the weeks. Our minig is not that way, we add the word לא אמר at the very ending. Every night of Sfira we say לא אמר all the way to ending. Now, by the way, in Chabad is interesting because our minig is that we say Lo Aimer with a Lamed, but still we call Lag Ba Aimer the base, Lag Be Aimer. We don't say Lag Lo Aimer, we don't say Lag Ba Aimer. Why is that? And that's a good question, why is that? So, well, nice, I've seen a few explanations for it. <laughs> One explanation is Api Chsidis, saying that it should come Be'aymer, inside of Pneumius. There's another explanation I don't recall. Lamaisa, the practical explanation, the Rebbe one time wrote to Rabbi Zev and Eretz Yisrael about this, and he wrote the practical explanation is that Chasidei Chabad, before they became Chasidei Chabad, the times of the Alter Rebbe, or Bechlal, they used to all say with a base. Because that was how they said Svir Yisraelim, like the Minigashkinas. It was when they took on the Alter Rebbe's Nusach and Siddur, they changed and they used it Lo'imer instead of Bo'imer. But it still remained with them, the lingo of Lag Bo'imer, that was the way it was coined that day. So that stayed. That's the practical explanation as to why, Pshat, as to why we're still saying it. Because that's the way we always spoke it. So it didn't, it didn't leave the, the, the Lashen. Even though we, our Nusach changed, but people were always used to saying Lag V'ayim. Though there were occasions that the Rebbe gave Chsidosh Apshat, why, why we say Lag V'ayim. Because V'ayim has to come into the Ayim. And Pipnimi is the Kedush has to come inside V'ayim. Mm-hmm. <coughs> but he said some other Biyurim, I don't remember, but uh, that was the practice of Biyur. Siv Chas. Derech tzachis loshen hakoidish loimer yomim loshen rabim mishnayim vaad asara vaad bechla. The proper way to speak loshen koidish is to say plural form yomim, when from the number two through the number ten. Have we achat asavera from eleven and on yomer yomim loshen yachin? You should say yomim in singular form. That's one halacha. Another, just just to say it clearly, like in the properly. Betoyev, the grammar, grammatically correct. Betoyev, loymer mingin hamuat koyde mingin hamaruba. It's best to say the smaller amount of days before the larger amount of days. Kain echod ve'esim, v'loy esim echod. You know, in English we say the larger number first, twenty-one, eighty-one. The larger number, the two, the twenty, you say before the one. But in lashon koydish. He says we should say better the small number first. It's only discussing those places and those countries where the smaller number always come first. And when we in those countries, people say the larger number first. You could say Svira the way you are, the way it is in your local place, the way the custom is. Like in Yiddish, a lot of people in Yiddish say the smaller number first. Say Einan Svansik. Right, Svei and Svan, they say the smaller number of four. Though some do the opposite also, in Yiddish, but usually they say the smaller number first. Then why do they do it? How many Dapas they say, uh, they, say um, they say the smaller number afterwards when they know not the Milud, and it's several. Uh. Yeah. Very interesting. Shkayev. When the guest read the psalm, he said this word. You heard it? Yeah, I got my name. Shh. Where is the share? It's giving it for a lot of years. That share. Yeah. Maybe yeah. What, he's going through the Samanim? He's going in there. Mm-hmm. 
How many people come? 100? 200. 200. Where, where is this? Huh? Where are you? That's why I know it's nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
a beer chametz, you actually have to make it hefker. You have to mevatel it. So if you don't know what you're saying, so you're not being mevatel it. You're saying some words. You have to know these are the these are the these are the words that you're being mevatel your chametz. You're getting rid of your chametz. And hefker, you can't just say it to yourself. You have to let people know. You have to say this, verbalize it. This thing is bottle. Um, I mean, really, Hefker, really, you have to let other people hear. You can just say, it says, Mavata lo belibo. You don't have to say it to other people. Right. But, but, Chachile, you're supposed to, to say it. I'll tell you, there's two Svaris. I mean, he means you have to know what you're saying. You have to know. You have to know what you're saying, but you don't, you don't have to say to. it to other right. people. You just have to dispossess it mentally, but it's not right. anymore. Right. In the correct. A lot of times we read things in order to make ourselves have kavana. Because when we say it, then we think about it. If we don't say it, it just reminds in our, remains in our mind, and we necessarily will think about it. But koil ma'oyer kavana. When by bitul chametz la'maisa, you could be mavatel in your heart, but if you don't know what to think in your heart, that nusach is to make you that you should know what you're. If you don't know what you're be doing, you're not sure what to, how to be a vatel. So why is it that in the Amida you only have to have Kabbalah for the first bracha? Why is that for the rest of the world that's right that you can say it phonetically and not know what to say? It's a good question. It's a good question. For four years and for four, for Mechil, yeah, okay. And if the first of all, you know, doesn't have a good mastery of Language, right. Well, I'll tell you the positive side. The reason why you have to know until Magen Avram, you have to know what you're saying. The first bracha, and as well Shema, you have to know Shema, is because that's the Iker. That's the Iker. The question really is, why we have to say the other words if, if we don't know what we're saying? Right. So we should have to have to come on for everything we do. So what are we just reading words and we're not knowing what we're saying? I mean, this question is a general question about a lot of things in Yiddishkeit that... Um, if you don't have kavana, you're, you're, you're still yoitza in a lot of mitzvahs. But there are some things that we we must do in Hebrew in order to be yoitzi. Other things, not. Right. Depends on each mitzvah. So, what? Depends each mitzvah, right? Yeah. Um, specifically regarding uh, Kriyashma, for example, um, the Alter Rebbe discussed this in, in, in Tanya. Um, this Achsidus Pshat. I don't I know a Pshat. Pshat, but the Chassidus Pshat has to do with the general outlook of Kabbalah and Chassidus that the Neshama came down here to affect um, the Guf, to affect the body. And therefore, even if you didn't have Kavana, which is associated with the Neshama, but the Guf said these holy words, the Guf was affected, the body was affected. Obviously, it's, a person should also have Kavana, it's also Mitzvah, you should have Kavana. And know what you're saying and know what you're doing. But the Yavid, your Yoitza, because mitzvahs are the physical mitzvahs, that the words that you say and the physical actions you do have an effect on the physical world that we live in and make the appropriate changes in, the, in Kedusha, bringing Kedusha in the world. So therefore, Lamashal, if you ate matzah and you didn't have, you didn't have kavana you're eating matzah, you were thinking about the uh, Afikoyman uh, or whatever, the baseball game. And you ate matzah, you ate to the mitzvah of matzah. And not all mitzvahs are like that. Mitzvahs of eating are that way if you don't have any kavana. In general, we say mitzvah in Torah, you need to have kavana. Mitzvah in Abanan, you should also have kavana, but with the Yebed, if you didn't, you ate. Um, but I don't know. But there's different types of kavanas. Isn't eating matzah from the Mitzvah and Atayra, correct. Right. So mitzvah tayra, eating matzah is a unique, uh, because it's a mitzvah you ate. Since you, uh -huh. you're, you had tainug, you, your physical throat had the feel of matzah in it, you were yaitzah, but you had kavana. Uh -huh. it was, okay. It's very different. Matzah is different than other mitzvahs. Um, the same would have been maybe in the times of the karbanis, you ate the karbanis, but today the only mitzvah we have of achila, the only mitzvah in Atayra we have to eat something, is the mitzvah of matzah. So this has to do more with what we're, that we are affecting. A person can think about matzah all he wants, 
at the Seder night, and he can have very lofty kavanas. He can know all the Zayars and all the Kabbalah and everything and all the Pirushim that it says, and all many and many and all the Svarim. And he doesn't eat a piece of matzah, he's not Yoitza the Mitzvah. But if someone eats the pizza of matzah and he doesn't have any of the kavanas, he's Yoitza the Mitzvah of matzah. So this is where the Nakoda is brought out that Yiddishkeit is about Hamaisa Hu Iker. Action is the Iker. Kavana also plays a major role, but Mice is, a, is the Iker. What about when you have to understand that what it means Amin? When somebody makes Racha and, uh, and, and you answering Amin to, to whatever the Racha is? Do you have it, you know? Like oh, yeah. you know, Amin like means. Um, you just here physically, you get the Mitzvah? By when, or, when, or when the father says the bracha and the Korean says the bracha, you have to answer on me. That's when. That's when There's no can. mitzvah to be at a pidyon aben. That's just. Uh, but, oh, but it's only said, his mitzvah, and yeah, the father has to do the mitzvah. Um, but but no, but this is a segula. This is a segula. Yeah, that's not a mitzvah. How about the brit mila? The father has to be mohel, and he yeah. give. Uh, the more he gives him a shliya, shliya, that's it. Right? Okay. But if he's the quiet, maybe the father could also make a shliya for pinyan aben. Maybe I have to look into the dinim. I remember that it's clearly discussed in Gemara. But uh, but the people who are coming are just coming to participate, but they not actually have any. No, but does somebody have to say to understand what it means on main? No, no. They're being yotzer from somebody else. No, no, no. We have to go to Meir, but I'll just share with you just a short from what we're saying next week. What is, there is, the next sif we're going to talk, and next week we're going to talk at length, is about counting early. What happens if someone counted after Shkia, between Shkia and Seis Kichavim, which is called twilight time, Bein Hashemash's time. What's the halacha? As well, what happens if someone dive in Meir early and counted before Shkia? It wasn't even sunset yet. Right? So what's the halacha? So step one, you have to know that Bein Hashmashes, it's Bein Hashmashes, your yoitz if you count the Bein Hashmashes, because since it's a mitzvah mit Rabbanan, and Bein Hashmashes is a suffix yoim, suffix laila, <coughs> so suffix with the Rabbanan, we call it However, the medaktikim don't count Bein Hashmashes because they say, that you're not supposed to lachatchila put yourself into a suffolk. Even a suffolk to Rabban and Lakula is only a rule but the evid. If you have counted already, so now, so suffolk to Rabban and Lakula, you're yaitza. However, lachatchila, a person shouldn't put himself in a matzav of suffolk, even if it's the Rabban and he shouldn't put himself in a doubtful situation. Lachatchila, mitzvahs, things you don't do in a doubt. So therefore, lachatchila, wait till it's fully night. But the mice, if you count the Ben Hashmashes, you're yaitza. I'm talking about the Ben Hashmashes of the upcoming day. And by counting before Ben Hashmashes, there it's better not to count before Ben Hashmashes. But if someone did, he can't count again that night with a bracha. Because according to certain opinions, just like Mairev, you're allowed to daven early. You're also allowed after Plaga Mincha. You're allowed to count Svira Soima early. That's a machloikis whether or not we say that Rabbi Yehudu held you could daven Mayriv early. Was it only for Mayriv that's considered nightfall? Only for, only for respect of Tfilos Arvis, you're allowed to daven early? Or also all misses in the Torah? Svira Soima, Kriyashma, other misses, you could also daven early. So according to that opinion, the other misses as well. You already yoyt to Svira Soimis, so you can no longer say with a bracha that night. Right, so the Chilah one should not count Svira then. What they should do is, in those shuls, they should schedule that their Mairiv should finish, Mairiv should finish right, or they do Svira Soimis later. No, they do Dafka, I probably Okay. They don't want people to forget. This is why. They if you go home, you forget. So, so, so the way you so the way you could do it is make a. They should remember to say it again. When you when you when you over, you should count 
All right? She'll say it again. Because the main halacha is that it's only mayr, night for, for perspectives of mayr, but not perspective of other mitzvahs. We don't rely on Rabbi Yehuda's opinion, we don't re- hold that Rabbi Yehuda is for other mitzvahs. Therefore, like, therefore the, the Al-Tareb is going to suggest you make a condition. If you find yourself in such a minion, you could say Svira Soimer, but make a condition. And if I remember Svira Soimer later, I want the Svira Soimer that I'm saying now should be invalid. And, and therefore I'm able to count that, that night with a bracha. But if I don't forget, <coughs> then let this Svira Soimer be the Svira, so at least I am Yoitz according to certain days. Even if you make it with a bracha now? No, he says not to make with a bracha. <laughs> you make a bracha I mean, if you make, I mean, if you make you don't make with a bracha. You just said that you, if you remember, if I remember later, I can make with a bracha. But if you, you remember a later, you can make with a bracha because earlier you don't make with a bracha. Oh, you don't make with a bracha. No. Oh. E- even if I mistake, you made with a bracha, you'll be able to count later again, but without a bracha. I, I, even without it, you can only make a bracha later if you made this condition, this tonight. Otherwise, since there is an opinion of how that you were yoitza when you said it before shkia, you can't say again with a bracha, because suffix bracha is l'hakal. The only way you're going to be allowed to say it with a bracha that night is I'm making a condition that I'm not, I'm only counting in case I don't remember later. But if I remember later, this counting is invalid and it, it's, it's l'chatchil and l'mafreya, it was as if I didn't count. Then you're allowed to count later with a bracha. So that means, according to that, you don't necessarily have to make a bracha to be yaitzah. If you just say a yom yom. Yeah, in a chalami. Bracha are not ma'akiv. You can be yaitzah without a bracha in a chalami. Does it work the other way if somebody forgot to count the day before now, ben as roshes? Is he yaitzah saying the... That's a big, big machlekes achreinim about it. There's already an early machlekes. A lot, a lot of svarim about it. Whether you count ben as roshes on the next day, you remember the whole night and day you forgot. And now it's already the Bein Hashemoshes of the next day. I remember I didn't count. Well, I see you can be Mekul. If you counted, you can continue counting with a bracha. You can't count with a bracha when you're counting, but that, next, that night when you're going to count, the next day you can count with a bracha. So Machloik is about it, but many, enough opinions hold that you can be Mekul. Thank you.